Hello guys, welcome to my channel CSK Tech Videos where I share you best information through my videos. Today I will share you more than 20 windows based command which will help you out. So here we go. Run. Run is used to explore files and services in your Windows PC. So you can open run by two way. Right click on start menu and another one is windows key plus r1 so here it is and if you want to access any share folder or network device you can double backslash ip address of that system and enter you will get this share folder on network so first one this Again, we are going for another command that is CMD. CMD is a command prompt where you can access multiple things from here. You can open CMD by two way. Either directly go to CMD or type CMD, right click on CMD, run as administrator. You can open it from here. So here we go. So first one is IP config. IP config is used to get the IP information of the system. It is very useful command. Here it is. The IP address of your system. It's a gateway subnet mask. Everything is here. And second one is IP config space forward slash all. This will show you all the information of your network dns everything will be here so let's go for next if you have to go in c root directory then type cd backslash then you will directly go to your root directory so if you want to go one step then cd space just like this we are on that if you want to go one step back then cd dot dot enter you will go to one step back and same thing if you want to go to next step next directory then cd space back uh, cd space and next one what is the file so here we go for next thing that's cmd ip config space forward slash flush dns this is used to flush the dns entry of your system And second one is IP config space forward slash register DNS. That is useful when you are going to register the DNS entry. Next one is ZP update space forward slash force. This will update the group policy. Whatever services or policies are implemented from server, this will implement in your local system. So, one another command that is GP update. This is also the same. It will update the group policy of server in user account. It is useful in domain based system. So, let's go for next command. That is MS Info 32. Here it is. It will show you all the information of your system hardware as well as operating system this is os name this is manufacturer system name this one this is dell manufacturer so here it is all the detail this is processor detail and this is bios detail you can get from here also all the information are here so let's go for next command right click on start menu type here ms config here 
here it is this is system configuration startup selection you can go from here diagnosis started from here also this is the boot you can go from safe mode this way these are the services files which are running in your system this is startup and this is tools option where you can multiple tools are here you can open directly from here click on the file and launch the application it will open the window okay so let's go for the next command again we are going on cmd type here get mac get mac space minus v this is providing hardware address of your network port so here it is if you want to get the network base pc mac address so first of all we have that system host name or ip address so here we will type get mac space forward slash s space ip address of that network devices so here it is you will get the ip address of uh, host name sorry uh, mac address of network device so let's go for the next command right click again we are going to mstsc this is very useful for remote desktop connection you can take remote of network system but your net remote desktop should be enabled on network system so then you can access that system on network so let's go for the next command app which dot cpl a p p w i z dot c p l here it is this will show you all the softwares which are installed in your system you can uninstall from there also let's go for ncpa dot cpl this is the properties of all the network connections in your system it will show you all let's go for the next command i n e t c p l dot c p l this will show you i properties so multiple settings you can do from here regarding your browser so here it is here is one option connections and lan setting here it is proxy setting you can configure proxy from here also okay so let's go for next command and that is services dot msc this will provide you all the information of services which are running stopped working everything are here so you can get services files from here okay let's go for the next command and that is firewall dot cpl you can check all this firewall related settings or you can change this firewall setting from here so here it is so let's go for the next command again we are going on cmd and this is sfc space forward slash scan now this will scan your system it will repair your operating systems files if there any thing 
which are corrupted it will repair the operating system file so it will take some time in your system but meanwhile we are going for next command if you will go cmd like this chkit this will deny the because due to insufficient privilege so we have to go by cmd run as administrator so here it is chkdsk this will repair your std so it will take some time it is we are going for next command c o m p m g m t this will dot mnc this will provide you the computer management so here it is all the tools users accounts device manager disk management event viewer everything is here you can do your setting from this way this command is very useful so let's go for the next command so guys please like and subscribe my channel so last command is step recorder so if you want to record something in your system you can do a screenshot from here let's see this we have record one file so here it is whatever we are working it get record through the screenshot again we are going on then type here dx di az see this direct x diagnosis tool do you want to check it? this is for digital signature signed drivers in your system it will scan your system and detect all the drivers are digitally signed or not means uh, these drivers are trusted or not so here it is it will show all the things here it is okay so you can do it from here also so let's go for that command. Cell colon start up. This will show you a startup menu. Whatever you want to keep startup files in this way, everything will be open. If you want, if we are on Google, automatically open when we are, we are going to log in. Then Google will open by this way. Whenever we log in, Google will be Google Chrome will be automatically open. So multiple application you can move here, which you want to get open automatically while you log in in your system. So let's go for the next command. ZP Edit. dot msc so here it is group local group policies are here you can change setting if something you want to change in your local group policy so let's go for the next command <coughs> and that is reg edit See this all the registry files are here whichever are saved in your system everything just like current user everything are there you can change setting from there so let's go for the next command this is system restore command you can make system restore point form here also if there is any restore point you can 
restore the window file from here. Let's go for the next command. Just close this. Here it is. So we are going to close this. We are going for that. And this is more important command. So set down space forward slash r. So here it is. If you want to set down restart any network PC, so here it is the option. You can add the host name of that system and select the option whatever you want to do. Restart or something. Command that network PC will be automatically restart. So this is useful in network environment. Okay. So let's go for the next one. Type CMD run as administrator. This is the most important command that is WMIC space BIOS BIOS space get space serial number. If you want to your system serial number in your system, then this command will be useful for this. So here it is. So next command is ns lookup space that system host name or if you want to host name of that network PC, so you can do by this way. Just like this one. If I want that one, I will type here IP and enter. We will get the host name of that system. So it's not taken because this system is not on domain. So it is useful only for domain PC or network domain PC. Okay. So here it is. Our check disk and SFC commands which we done are now completed. So we are going to close this one. So thanks guys for watching this interesting video please like and subscribe my channel so i can make you more videos like this so here are the importance commands you can take a screenshot from here or i will share you these commands on my video description you can copy from there also so thank you guys for watching this video please like and subscribe my channel so i can make interesting tech videos for you guys for it guys please share this video to your colleague and make them knowledge well. so these are the commands Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel.